Alrighty folks, what we're going to do here is set down and break down some soft plastic baits for you in just different ways of rigging them. If you watch the seminars, I always talk about get to understand the fish first. I don't like to get into baits because frankly, there's a ton of them out there and they all work if you understand how to use them properly. So always go back, watch the seminars, understand the fish first and then move to the baits. Okay, I promise you it's not about the bait. But what I want to do is just show you some of the things we do, different ways to rigging them up, understanding different profiles and why you should use one versus another. Um, the all-time favorite bait out there right now, Gary Yamamoto Sanko, stick bait, okay, everybody uses these, okay, they work great, they work excellent. One of the complaints that you hear with these, though, is that they tear up real easy, and in this economy, things aren't cheap, and jobs aren't plentiful, right? So we don't want to be using up three or four bags of these each trip. So what I want to do is show you just a quick way to get a full use out of one of these guys right here. First thing you're going to do, guys, offset worm hook right there, okay? Match it up with the bait. This one I believe is about a 3 aught. Uh, you can use up to a 5 aught with these if you want. You just don't want something overly huge, okay? Now, we'd have this guy tied up. First thing we'd do is just rig it traditional. This was the standard way it was rigged before all the wacky stuff came along, okay? Here's what we're going to do first, though. I got a Senko loader, okay? A low-dollar Senko loader. You can go buy a pretty one made out of aluminum with O-rings on it, or you can just take an old Sharpie pen like I did, cut that off, pull it out, and there you use your loader right there. So what we'll do is on here, I've got some quarter inch black tubing. I'm gonna stick this guy down into here, and all I'm gonna do is just roll off, like so, my quarter inch tubing. I'm doing this real fast, guys, because you can find this, if you look at your video section, you'll see the wacky rigging section in there, and you'll be able to see this. So what I've done is I've just rolled that ring up on there like so. Now what we're gonna do is rig it up traditional Texas rig. I've got that ring on there for wacky rig, and you'll see why in a minute. Just come through, quarter inch, nothing fancy. Spin it around. You've seen it done a million times. Find out where the hook lays straight at. Pop it in. Pop it through. Flesh hook it. Now you're fishing it originally how it was made to be built right there. After a few fish, what happens is this nose piece may say it gets torn, like so. And now... You can't hook it through because it keeps wanting to fall out. So what we do is we just throw it on the floor and we go grab another one. You don't have to do that. Grab the back end of it right here. Come through. Poke it out. Swing it up. I've seen it a million times. One more time. And you go, okay, that's straight. And you poke it through. Flesh hook it back. Now we're fishing it this way. Because the fish don't know a difference. Okay, trust me. The thing falls through the water like this no matter where you're hooking it. We just hooked it up backwards. And you get a couple fish and it rips out and you go, oh no, now what? Throw it on the floor. No, you don't. You got that ring right there. Now, what you'll have to do, if you got a couple rods like we've got, if you don't, just retie. Take that offset shank there off. Or you can take these and just throw them in the pile for later. Don't throw them away. What you're gonna need to do is tie on a three-aught red octopus hook like so. Now all you do is just come underneath your O-ring, just like that, and now you're fishing it wacky style, okay? Guys, there's several different ways to use it. Don't just hook it in the front when it wears out, throw it away. Turn it around, hook it in the back. When that wears out, hook it in the O-ring. You're already ready to go. Now you're wacky fishing, all right? Use those things all the way up before you throw them away, okay? You will catch a ton of fish by just changing it up, one end of the other to the center. I promise you it works great. Now, folks, we just covered to you how to rig these three different ways to get your money out of them. Now, one of the ways that this is used, and it's really underused, we just fished a tournament, we didn't do that well, but the fish that we did catch, we were using this technique. And this technique with this, it's super slow fishing with these sinking baits, guys. It's a, it takes a discipline, and it's a discipline that I am not excellent at. My buddy Chad and my fishing partner Larry, they're excellent at it. They got way more patience than I do. But fishing this in current, floating it naturally down through the current, which is what we were doing this last weekend, or fishing suspended fish out off points where you may be letting it fall 25, 35 feet. To sit and wait on this to fall that far takes a long time. And if you have any wind, it's really going to make it hard because the wind's hitting the line that's keeping this thing up. So what we do to kind of help speed the process up, this is all for the wacky style now. We've got our O-ring on there. We would have our 3 odd hook. 
hook through the rubber just like so, so that we're wacky style. Now, what we do, guys, is this. This is a River to Sea tungsten nail weight. These come in a lot of different sizes. Now, this size right here would be something, if I was getting down 20 feet, had a moderate current, I'd run that. Now, they make one that's a 16th. It's a big dude, all right? You could run that for running real deep or running in faster water. Not a lot of people do this. What you do with this Senko right here, or you know whatever soft plastic you want to run, guys. We like the Senkos. We like the 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 uh, gulp uh, sinking minnows. Whatever you want to run. Take this nail weight right here, and in the fat part of the head, this is the head. Push this guy in there. Just try to get it nice and centered up. And the nice thing about the river to sea ones, my fishing partner Larry, he had some just straight lead, and they were just huge. You know, and they're pushing way up in here. Well, that tungsten's extremely dense. So you get a lot of weight out of a small piece, plus they got the keeper on them. So we just shove it up in there like that. Now what you've done is weight this up a little bit more. It's going to increase your fall rate, so it's going to get you down to where you need to be a lot quicker, or if you have current, it's going to keep you down. It's not going to push this thing up on the surface. So don't ever hesitate to fish it in current or to fish them deep, especially in the summertime, smallmouth bass get out off deep points, guys. They're suspended down, feeding on kokanee, maybe they're down 15 feet. Throw this thing out there. It is absolutely deadly. Just put that tungsten nail weight in there and let her drop. Keep a tight line. Watch your line. If your line starts to move or it shocks, you'll see it bounce. Set the hook because there'll be a fish there. Weight these guys up. They'll kick butt in the summertime, I promise.